Welcome to Conversations Live. For more than a decade, we brought you the best in books, entertainment, and current events. When the movers and shakers of the world have something to say to you, they say it to us first. Now, here's your host, Cyrus Webb. And welcome back, everyone, to Conversations Live. I'm your host, Cyrus Webb. Glad you all could join us once again. We're just tuning in on your inspiration station in Mississippi at WYAD 94.1 FM. We welcome you all to our program, as well as tuning in through our other affiliates around the country and around the world. We're glad to have all of you with us as well. Francesca Zappinelli is making her first appearance on our program today to talk to us not only about her own love of acting, but also storytelling as well. Francesca has a brand new project coming out this week called Ballerina I'm Not. So we'll talk to her not only about that, but also also, what it's been like for her already to see the early response, as well as this story. Why was this a story that she wanted to tell? Now, one thing that you all will be able to see when you're able to watch the, the film is that it, it chronicles individuals who are going after their goals and dreams, something that I know a lot of us can relate to. We'll talk to Francesca about that journey for herself, what it's been like for her now to share this, and what she hopes you're able to take away from it when it comes to pursuing your own goals as well. Francesca, hello to you, and welcome to the program. Thank you so much, Cyrus. I'm elated to be on your program. Well, uh, glad to have you on with us. I know this is, as I said, an exciting time. I mean, you put so much of your heart and your soul and your effort into this. How does it feel to be at this point where now this week people will be able to go to their favorite streaming service and to be able to watch the film for themselves? I am beyond excited that people can now watch it um, coming this week on Wednesday on Amazon. This project uh, has been my passion project. I've worked on it for years. And to finally have it out there, uh, it's a great fe- feeling of satisfaction and completion, and I'm just so excited to share the project with everybody. And I really think timing is incredible because Valerie I'm Not is the underdog story, and it's yeah. the world of wrestling from a female perspective. And today there's a lot of attention being brought to females in various industries and their mistreatment. And the documentary Valerie and I'm Not deals on that and shines a light of some of the challenges in the industry but it also celebrates the strength of women and how we overcome obstacles and find our way. Right, right. And you know this journey yourself as well. Francesca, I mean, mean, how does it feel to go from being able to do what you love as an actress, but then to be able to shine a spotlight on others that are going through this, in particular in this film, of course, on face value, like you said, I mean, dealing with female wrestling, but also I think for all of us to show, you know, what it really takes to be able to, to go for your goals and your dreams. Well, through the documentary Ballerina, I'm not. I use my journey as a professional wrestler um, as a storyline that, that connects the other wrestlers, uh, whether they be famous WWE wrestlers like Stacey Keebler or Maria Kanellis or Gail Kim, or underground wrestlers like Christy or Julie Ginther, and shine a light on their various experiences. And by shining a light on these experiences, we can all walk away learning something. However, it translates not just to the wrestling industry, but to any industry. And it translates, translates not just to women, but also to men, anyone following their dream. That you're going to experience yeah. challenges. But you keep on persevering, you're going to find your way. And sometimes that dream is going to evolve, like it has for myself. Originally, I wanted to be a wrestling superstar. And then I ended up in filmmaking. And that has become my true passion. That you go on your journey, you keep working hard, and you'll find your, yourself right where you're supposed to be. Yeah, I totally agree. And and that is definitely what I took away from it. And that's why I'm excited for our audience to be able to see it as well. Francesca, so take us back then into where this all began for you, especially when it comes to the storytelling aspect. When did you first realize that you were interested in sharing stories that, that mattered to you? I think the seed was planted, actually, when I watched the fiction movie, The Wrestler. You know, about an independent wrestler and his challenges and he was at the end and bottom of his career, and he was trying to find purpose in his life, and it really resonated with me. So often when you hear the stories, the happily ever after dream come true stories, but what about the other stories? And then living in the wrestling world, I I saw such a variety of outcomes of various people, these various people that also inspired me, because I met that were powerful and intelligent and beautiful and strong, and I was empowered by them and wanted to share their stories. And I was also amazed at the sisterhood I found in the wrestling world. And so often, people aren't rooting for each other. And I found the opposite to be true amongst the females in wrestling. You know, we all lifted each other up. And that is something that all women should do in every industry. 
Yeah. And I think that, again, is one of the powerful things about this project as well. You mentioned earlier about the timeliness of this, Francesca. I totally agree with you. And and I think, too, especially when so many people are being told what they can't do or where, or where they're expected to be. Even in one of the trailers that I saw for Ballerina, I'm not one of the players, said, you know, that, you know, they, they, admittedly so, that there are certain people who feel as though some, you know, professions, some sports are not for women. I mean, but, you know, I think to be able to see something like ballerina I'm not definitely can help to get people to understand that when it comes to what is for somebody it really is up to that person to be able to decide have you always found support to be something that you had on your side Francesca when it comes to going for your goals and dreams someone's there pushing you as telling you what you could do versus what you couldn't do yes and no and I guess there's always the good and the bad that's life Mm -hmm. I deal with this a little bit in a documentary. My parents are very religious, and I wasn't allowed to wrestle, and they didn't support this dream. However, my grandma has always been my biggest fan and biggest supporter and always encouraged me to follow my dreams and to go for it, no matter what anyone says, and to be true to yourself and believe in yourself. And if you do that, you can't go wrong. Right. And I think that belief is always so important. And I think that that's one of the things people will definitely take away. I want to say for those who are just t- tuning in, either on the radio side or online, you're listening to Conversations Live. We're excited to welcome Francesca Zapatelli to our program today. Francesca is an actress as well as a producer of the new film out this week on Wednesday for those joining us live. It's called Ballerina I'm Not. It's going to be available through our partners at Amazon.com. Really excited for you all to be able to watch it. One of the ways that people have been talking about this film um, uh, Francesca, one of the things that I use in prepping for your segment, ironically, uh, is social media. That is one of the avenues you all have, have been able to use. Um, people can follow the project on Twitter at Ballerina I'm Not, as well as there's a Facebook page. What has it been like for you to use new media this way, to be able to share updates, but also to kind of build this community around the film? I love social media. I think it really empowers independent filmmakers to promote their films. It's an incredible digital age, and I think it gives us a lot of freedom and access to people around the world. Um, I have updates on my social media. It's Francesca Zapit on Twitter, and my Instagram is Francesca Zapitelli, and then the actual website is Ballerina I'm Not, and there's updates and all of those platforms, including the Facebook page, too, which is also under my name, Francesca Zapitelli. Yeah. You know, and I think the other cool thing about it is, you know, and that, I mean, for me, I mean... We, these days, I think, are the best source of being able to share information about films like this. Have you been amazed at the word of mouth? Because not only, of course, are people like myself who've got a chance to see an advanced screening of it, you know, being able to share our thoughts, but now, of course, you know, other people who are following you, following the pages, they're then able to just hit share, retweet, and share the word. Has that been one of the things that you've been impressed with, how people have taken it upon themselves to want to share this film? Yes, I have, and it's so grateful uh, for people checking it out and retweeting and resharing and the amount of support has really been touching. Yeah. You know, I have to say, you know, when it comes to doing anything, I mean, you know, I think for any creative individual, there's always the challenge of we never know what's going to happen. We just know what we want to be able to do. We never know how people are going to respond to it. How is your idea? I was curious about this with your segment. How is your idea of what success is with Ballerina or not? Has it has it transitioned as this has gone from a passion project to now reality or what was your initial goal and and what are you feeling now about what success is for you with it what a great question Cyrus I think with any creator there's always that terrifying moment of what are people going to say what are people going to think and the (laughs) reality is not everyone's going to like your project and that's okay I think the objective is to keep on creating and my next project is going to be even better than my this project and it's going to keep on getting better and better but if you don't start somewhere you have nowhere to go and I'm happy I've started and I I hope people like it and if they don't like this one I hope they like the next project I make and I'm just going to keep on creating no matter what anyone says 
And that's the thing. And and that brings me to this, because I, I'm so glad you said that, because you yourself, and I, I don't, I, this may be an uncomfortable thing for you to even to acknowledge, but just by your doing this, Francesca, you are showing so many people, not just women, but so many people, what is possible when they have an idea and don't let go of it, and they're willing to go the, the extra mile, because there's so many people who, if they hit a snag, they would have just stopped, <laughs> you know, or if someone told them, hey, that's not going to work, or that's not, you know, they would have said, okay, well, maybe not, and, and just let it go. You have been able to be not only persistent, but also consistent in your way that you've approached this. What has it been like for you to know that you've been able to inspire other people? people to have that same attitude when it comes to what they want. I am honored and definitely want to inspire people to not be afraid to create. And if they don't see an opportunity, build your own door. There doesn't have to be a door there for you to walk through. If you have an idea, if you have a voice, if you have something you want to share, share it. And don't let anyone tell you otherwise. Yeah, I think that's it. And I think that, again, the women we're able to meet in Ballerina I'm Not would attest to that fact as well. And that's why I think this film is so timely. It's great it's coming out in this last quarter of the year, you know, to kind of give people that extra push um, toward whatever it is that they want. Maybe they're looking at this year and saying, you know what, I didn't get done what I wanted to get done. Uh, but looking at a, at a, a documentary like this, I think will help people to see that it's not too late. Is that one of the messages that you do want people to know, that even though it it may take a little bit longer to get to where you want to go. It's never too late. A hundred percent. You don't fail. You only fail if you stop. If you keep on going, yeah. you're going to find success. In the documentary, one of my longtime favorite wrestlers, China, uh, who sadly, tragically left us and, and passed, it was really sad. And I think that narrative shows us how precious life is. So if not right. now, then when? You want to do something, right. do it. Because life is a gift and life is precious. And none of us know how much time we have left, not to bring it on such a dire note. The time yeah. is now to do anything. So if anyone has any dream or anything I want, they want to create, I highly encourage them just to do it. There we go. And you're hearing from someone who definitely knows firsthand. Again, everyone, Francesca Zapatelli has been our guest. Great conversation with you, Francesca. The documentary is called Ballerina I'm Not, available on Wednesday. There are friends at Amazon.com. You all will be able to watch it for yourself there. As you heard Francesca say, there is the website, ballerinamnot.com. You all can go there for all the updates. And then, of course, on social media, you can follow her as well as the, the documentary on social media through Facebook and Twitter as well. Francesca, congratulations to you and to all of those involved in this project and looking forward to us speaking again. I look forward to it too, Cyrus, and thank you everyone for tuning in and have a very happy Monday. Hey, you do the same thing. And we thank your audience for tuning in to another great segment of Conversations Live. Until next time, I'm your host, Cyrus Webb, saying as always, enjoy your day, enjoy your life, enjoy your world. Make sure you take out time to enjoy some good music as well as a great book. Thank you all for choosing Conversations Live. You all make it a great one.